Hey folks, how's it going? My name's Josh. I'm the owner of Fiero Social Media and Marketing, and I'd like to show you how to market your mobile mechanic business so that way more clients can see the kind of quality that you have and the products that you're offering. Now, I've been working on vehicles since I was 16, and then when I turned 19, I finally got my automotive degree. And that was a great starting point for me because it allowed me to get a different handle on vehicles than I was normally getting, which was just trying to go through Chilton books and things like that. Uh, back in 2017, I ended up working for Midas for a while, and we did have a lot of customers that came in mainly for oil changes and things like that and small maintenance things, but never really for big packages unless they were already pre-sold before that point. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to take you from getting those clients that are just looking for an oil change or maybe have even gotten quotes from a shop and actually turn that into customers that want to get big work done, which are big ticket items for your business, and help you grow your clientele. Now I hope to mimic what I did back in 2018 and 2000, 2020 for you guys and I was able to get enough clients to where I was booked out a couple weeks and then I had clients that I had to turn away because they needed matters fixed on a sooner basis. I could have hired more mechanics and done it that way but I really just wanted to keep it as myself. And when I say that I had enough clients I mean I was having four to five hundred dollar days consistently and I was able to have all the parts paid up up front and made it so that way it was easier for the customer to either get the parts or me to be able to pick up the parts because they were already prepaid at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whoever's closest to you and works with you. Now, of course, there's some cars that you have to go back to maybe once or twice. Uh, one time is because if you have a diagnosis and they agree on the diagnosis and how you're going to fix it, then you have to go back again after you've ordered parts and install the parts. So I'm going to go over the five easiest things that you can do to start marketing yourself and make your job easier as a mechanic for when you're going from vehicle to vehicle and how to market yourself in a way that your clients are going to actually be reaching out to you instead of you having to dig through the Facebook feeds to see who needs work on their cars. So probably the biggest tip that I'm going to be giving you out of this entire series is that when you're servicing your area make sure that you know what the market issues are so here in Arizona we have a lot of AC issues a lot of radiator issues and quite a bit of suspension work that needs to be done so when I started marketing initially back in 2018 what I focused on was AC repair radiator replacement and suspension work because a lot of people out here they like to go off-roading their radiator busts because it gets way too hot out here and then the AC service because their AC starts blowing a little bit warmer so what I did was I started focusing on that in my ads, listing it, that as services that I offered, and then put up, say, a special for AC, uh, an AC recharge. Because essentially what we do when we go out to do AC recharges, as you know, is we check the valves, we check for leaks, we check for everything when we do a complete AC service. It's not that hard to do. We have the parts if you're a mechanic already. So when we have that stuff, it makes it easier to be like, okay, well, the AC is this much. And then if we find any leaks, you're, this is how much I'm going to charge you to repair those leaks. But make sure you say that up front to them when you walk up, or even before then. I, I would recommend for you to message them about this if they've contacted you through Facebook Messenger or whatever. Make sure you tell them, hey, the AC service is this much. If your valves are fine and there's no leaks anywhere, then it'll be that much. But if I do need to replace a valve, it's typically X amount. And it makes it that much easier for the customer to be like, okay, well, I was told about these prices before. So that makes sense to me why you're going to be charging me this now but definitely focus in on what the market issues are in your area because when you see that and as a customer you see that and you're thinking okay well they already work on this but they must work on this other stuff too now granted that doesn't work both ways all the time because if somebody says uh, something like oh I'm a battery expert I work on this or whatever I work on AC systems um, it doesn't always work to where they're thinking okay well he must do suspension work as well so you still want to list the services but feature the things that are the biggest issue in your area because that'll bring you a bunch of return on clients when they're calling in and saying hey I need to get an AC repaired or I need to get this done or I need to get this done now when you're marketing in Facebook or Google most of the time you get uh, the option to pick what kind of age range you'd like to pick and granted yeah a lot of the younger kids between you know ages of 16 just started getting a, just got a car and needs help up to the age of 25 they do need help um, they are gonna be your smaller ticket group because they don't typically want all the fixes done so they're not gonna worry that much about their AC being um, down or their radiator not running as well as it should or them needing a flush or anything like that that's typically more the age market from 30 up to you know up to 65 and, and up because they're gonna need their car to be working from A to B because they've already got everything set up to where they need to get to certain places at certain times and it's not just them 
it's not really typically um, always that way, but you want to make sure that your most of your ad spend is going towards those age groups to make sure that you're going to be able to get the most return as a mechanic on work that actually does need done. Another thing, and I can't stress this enough, is get yourself some professional looking business cards. I didn't really have any outside of the ones that I created myself, and that was before I started doing graphic design and things like that. Uh, but the thing is, with an actual professional looking business card, when you show up to their house or their work, and after they've gotten the work done, and they see that you did a great job, and they ask for a business card, if you just hand them some janky looking card, it's not going to be as effective as if you give them a card that's actually professionally made, has your business name on it, and has your contact information because then guess what that card's gonna be like in their back pocket and I guarantee you that they're gonna pull it out to their friends or family or anybody that needs any work done which is almost everybody nowadays and they're gonna say hey this guy took really good care of me give him a call you're gonna get so many referrals from a professional looking business card than from another one that you've possibly just copied and pasted from somewhere so if you don't have the money to make your own card if you don't have the money to make your own uh, business cards themselves I definitely recommend four over four it's a free website where you can go and get your free business cards. You just got to post the links on social media. They give you points, and then you trade those points in for free business cards, 200 of them. 200 is more than enough to start off with. And you get to design them yourself there, and they do have some really good templates. If you don't want to use their templates uh, and you have some graphic design background, go ahead and make yourself your own, just as long as they look nice, crisp, clean. Don't overdo it on the colors. Um, but if you don't have that expertise either, go ahead and get yourself uh, either on Fiverr or Upwork. There's a lot of people out there that do business card design. Just go ahead and, and get one of their services, see which one you like, and you get to pick which uh, whichever design is the best for you. And of course, if you have any questions about the design of them or anything like that and need some feedback, let me know. Uh, I'm going to link my email address down here at the bottom or whatever you need to contact me, and I'll be able to help you out with that. Next, make sure that you're working with your parts stores. Make sure that they know who's calling, know that you own the business. I know that it, as a mobile mechanic, you're going to be all over the place. So make sure that your main office knows who you are so that way if there's any issues, you can always call back, know the manager, and get things done for you. Uh, typically what I used was AutoZone and O'Reilly to where I would call them, uh, have the parts already paid for in the morning so that way I could head out on my jobs, do the jobs, and be done by the end of the day and have the next set already done. What I typically recommend for doing things like that is make sure that you have your EIN done, your employer identification number. All you have to do is go online, register for an EIN, and they provide it for you free. What that allows you to do is get your business account set up on AutoZone, which gives you great pricing on a lot of their parts. Uh, most of the time it's going to be under what you get as list, which then means you can list your prices as uh, the main uh, client pricing. What you don't want to do and what you want to set yourself apart as is a lot of shops, they charge two or three times as much as the parts are in stores to install them as for the customers, even though they already get the business pricing. What you don't want to do is you don't want to do that. You want to charge the customer probably as much as the MSRP is, so if they were to walk into AutoZone and get a water pump, it would cost them about 180 bucks, depending on the vehicle. You want to charge them that $180, possibly without no tax on it, and then you want to basically pay the 130 that it costs you. The reason I say that is because when customers get overcharged on something and then they go check, it you know that it's a bad feeling for you. If it's happened to you, it's happened to me, where you get charged a certain amount for something, then find out, oh, well, it only costs them this much. And it, co it creates a sense of, of lies within everything. Now, they're going to know that you're charging them MSRP because you're going to tell them, hey, uh, the part is this much at AutoZone, and so that's how, that's how much I'm going to charge you, and then my service is X amount. You know, depending on how much you charge for labor hours, that's what you're going to tell them. And that makes it simple and clear cut because if they do end up going to AutoZone, they're going to see that price and say, oh, well, okay, it was $180, really? Great. Don't do a group. Groups are great uh, for once you've already established yourself in a business, but when you want to start off, you want to make yourself a Facebook page, brand it with your logo, brand it with your business name, make sure that everything on there matches up with what you're going to create if you're going to make a website for it as well. 
But what you want to do is you want to get that Facebook page. Invite your friends and family, especially the ones that you've already worked on their cars if you've done it, and most of us have. Um, you want to get their information. You want to get their reviews that they've given you in person for fixing their cars. You want to just ask them, hey, you remember when I fixed your car? You remember when I fixed your radiator? Remember when I swapped out your, your tires or your brakes? Make sure that you get a review on my page, please, so that way I can start getting more clients. And I now what that does for you is when you're actually advertising on Facebook or even posting or suggesting your service, when they see that page and they see the five stars or however many stars you've got from your friends and family, they're going to go based off of that more than the guy that said, hey, my name's Josh and I can fix your car in your backyard. It makes it a lot more reputable as a company so that way customers come to you and are asking, hey, I saw this ad you know, from this time, um, can you still do that for me? What you also don't want to do and what I've seen has not helped a lot of other mobile mechanics is when you fix a car, don't give a whole story behind it. I've seen people list off like, oh yeah, this customer called me and they told me that there was this problem and this shop lied to them and all this stuff. It does seem like a lot of drama to people. Uh, typically when they're responding to the to the ads themselves just make sure you know you list what you did to the car how you fix it take a before photo make sure you take the before photos and then get the after photo so if you're replacing say a busted water pump you want to show the old degraded water pump that I'm sure that they have been pointed out to at shops before and you want to show the new one before you install it and then after installation those three photos are probably some of the best um, marketing that you can do for yourself when you're doing your ads and when you're posting up in groups or wherever you put your your ads up it really is a game changer just don't add the story because people seem like oh you're outing them to their uh, friends or family that maybe see the post that they respond or if they know that car or if they know that issue that they were having just keep away from it believe me it'll save you a lot of stress in the long run so those are my five tips when it comes down to marketing yourself as a mobile mechanic. There's a lot more information out there and a lot more things that you can do to make yourself effective in the client's eyes. But if you guys want to see more, follow the page, like the video, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions and I'll get to them as fast as I can. I'm also going to link in my Facebook page if you guys want to reach out to me through there. I do marketing for other services as well, uh, but the automotive one was one that really struck home because I don't see a lot of people talking about it. I know that there's a lot of mechanics that are stuck in shops uh, and aren't getting the full cut for what they do for their work and I was one of them so I wanted to make sure that if anybody did want to do mobile mechanic work or has already been doing it but haven't really been getting the kind of return that they normally would expect that I can help them get over that uh, that initial speed bump to get to the point where they're actually making a good amount of money every working day that they have so like I said follow the page follow the uh, follow the video let me know if you guys have any questions and I hope to see you guys on the next one take care